So this is courtesy of UK Gossip. I'm not even going to play the sound because it doesn't need to play any more sound here because it's fucking embarrassing. But this is courtesy of UK Gossip TV. And there's a guy, an artist here in the UK called Schwarms. For whatever reason, he's decided to get fake dreads. And I fucking hate it. Um, I'm not sure why this became acceptable for dudes, especially black guys, to get fake dreads. This was never the lick. This was never the vibe. I think the first person I saw with fake dreadlocks um publicly happily wearing them as if there is it's his own hair was maybe neymar when he had that style that was kind of you know he had basically fake dread style that he was rocking for a bit again it didn't last too long because neymar is you know um, notorious for having many many different haircuts or then many different hairstyles in one year you know he switches up his hair million millions of times which is great for inspiration if you want to figure out what to have but in terms of um some of the hit and misses they're really high but this kind of new trend of guys buying or getting installed fake locks in their hair is horrible because what well, it's just the look that you want to look right to look at rappers how they look nowadays um especially guys in america from the south and shit or to kind of purport to be a certain type of artist maybe kind of gives you a bit of swag it makes you fake i don't know whatever it may be but it all it requires is for you to have the patience and the fortitude to just grow your hair out that's all it requires now if you don't have any hair that's one thing but if you have a full head of hair which it looks like schwams is blessed with a pretty decent hairline yeah, judging by this video he's got good waves on him on there right he does look like he's lacking in it maybe he hasn't got a bit of a tash and he has that weird bottom bit um mustache that every black guy seems to love especially the academic type people but regardless he looks like he's got a full head of hair he looks pretty you know it looks okay why not just grow your hair out it's not that difficult to do grow your bloody hair out don't install fake dreads like guys getting weaves and stuff is just I don't know, man. What what world are we living in where this is acceptable? What is this? What is this world? It's just mad, man. I'd never really thought this would be an in thing. It was. I'm sure this was done all the time, but it was done kind of in, on the sly, incognito. Guys would just turn up with a full head of hair. You'd be like, hold on, how did you go from that to that? But now suddenly, I think, I see a lot of people doing it in America. Even Louis Yvette does it, but he's already got dread. So maybe to get some length, to change the style, you add a little bit on the end. That's one thing. But to go from having a one level to then installing a forehead or just even a slight afro and then kind of making it look like chunky fucking locks. Nah, I'm not having it. I'm just not having it. I'm really not. I thought maybe I'm in the minority, but I thought even when Rihanna had that hairstyle where she looked like flipping Bob Marley, I thought she looked flipping stupid. I thought she, it was, I think it was a film, I'm pretty sure. But that ridiculous flipping, you know, dreadlocks hairstyle she had was ridiculous. Like it's all what? Fake hair that you've got on top of your head just carrying around in a dreadlock style. It just doesn't make any sense. Grow your hair out. Or if you can't do it, get another hairstyle. That's it. This whole flipping fake dread thing is just dumb. It looks horrible. It really does. Because what? One day I'm, I'm at work and I see you. Well, well go on, man. We're at work together. We're JDs or whatnot. Whatever we're working. Game flipping. TJ Fridays. Hey, what's up? How's your weekend? And then on Monday you come in and you've suddenly got, you know, Migo style locks on your head and I'm not meant to ask any questions I'm not meant to get a little bit offended I'm not meant to get a little bit heated I'm not meant to say what the fuck are you doing <laughs> I meant to just kind of pretend that it's all bless and look how gassed up he is too that's the worst thing too it's not even the fact that he got the locks it's the fact that it's made him it's it, he, he's feeling like a fucking hot boy he's probably playing way too sexy in his head now isn't it that fucking future director I'm too sexy folks like get out of here man like is there anything worse than guys that like, guys who think they're sexy Right, is that, I've, I think I've said it before. Like, what, what's what's worse? Um, what comparison did I make? I forgot one comparison, but there is something entirely different level, different levels of cringe when guys kind of think they're hot, especially the the, the guys on TikTok and shit, or those Instagram shorts that start doing the dances. The guys that wear the, you know, those black boys that like wearing suits. They think they, when they put the suit on, they make some, it turns them into Idris Elba. You know those kind of dudes, like bizarre. They put on a double-breasted suit, and all of a sudden they they fucking James Bond and shit bizarre but anyway those kind of dudes when they get online and start doing the dances or or the one that i saw the cringe one was those kids that were at some festival and they're walking in a line together like guys that are hot and like trying to see everyone's reactions like come on man like you legitimately had your boy hold a camera for you in a crowd and have you guys walking through it all being like tall and look good looking guys and hopefully like getting catching the eye of some girls you know higher flipping cat and md and then what 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 was that going to prove that oh that girls might give you a second look because you look a certain way and like oh yeah yeah man 
guys should never be this um conceited it's just not a thing that is ever going to be appetizing it's never going to be appe- appetizing it's never going to be appealing it's a thing that should be left for women really right women and homosexuals should be the ones that feel conceited because that is part of the name of the game to look amazing look good smell fresh but just regular straight dudes shouldn't do this because it just comes across super super lame and you're always going to be the butt of the jokes of this obviously not for schwams because he's a i'm assuming he's probably close to a millionaire he's a you know really well-known guy here in the uk he makes songs people like people want to be his friend so it's unlikely he's going to be the butt of the jokes but if he was back in school i'm sure and he turned up non-school uniform day in the tracksuit and new dreads like come on come on bruv like we need to have a talk or you, you're gonna get a tamping not tamping that sounds a bit you know but yeah you know what i mean <laughs> you know what i mean i don't get it man i really don't i think it looks super super dumb but you know maybe i'm in a minority and i hold my hands up if i am hold my hands up if i am